There's more than 250 Indigenous languages, including 800 dialects throughout Australia. Pradam is spoken 100 kilometres south of Alice Springs and is considered critically endangered. Shania Armstrong is a young traditional owner working with her elders and community to heal Pradam, ensuring it's healthy and strong for future generations. I'm Lily Madden and this is Healing Country, a look at how young traditional owners are caring for their country. I just feel good being out on country, happy, nice and peaceful. So Shania, can you tell us where we are at the moment? We're at Rainbow Valley, which is Wada in Puram. Mm -hmm. Aranda is the language people speak around here, but there's Southern Aranda, which is Puram. Puram is a severely endangered endangered language. Very few elder fluent speakers left. I'm a part of the Master Apprentice Program, which I learn Pradam from an elder speaker, who is my great-grandmother. Can everybody say Parakilia? Parakilia! The kids love learning their language, Pradam. Every time they come to a Pradam class, they always have a big smile on their face. We sing songs with them, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Yeah, we play teddy bear, skipping game, but in Pradam. So last year for my Arunda class, I got the Kami Sini Award, the highest ranking in the NT for the Arunda classes. The Arunda teachers, they showed me the program and I was like, oh yeah, why don't I learn my language? And over here we have some Runaranda. Wow. This little one with the little purple flowers? Yep. Runaranda. Runaranda. And so what does that mean? It means bush tomato. Okay. Runa meaning food. Yep and Randa tomato. Okay. Over here we have spinifex, which is yorda in Pradam. Look how beautiful it is. So yorda. 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 Spinifex. So do you find it easier when you're like out on country to remember the yeah. words? Yeah, yeah and just speaking the language on country too. Mm. It's really good. So part of the apprenticeship, we do 15 hours a week, four hours a day. So my great grandmother, Christabel Swan, when she went to school, she wasn't allowed to speak her language at school. It was her dream to start a program school and keep the language going strong. I love this country. I love it with all my heart. Right. You grew up here. Yeah. I grew up here. Yeah. It's very important to go out to the country, you know. We love our country. It's good when you've got a homeland or in your country, because you can bring your family out and and teach them about language or teach them about um, bush medicines and bush tuckers and all that, you know, and show them, teach them language, put them, so that they can grow up and teach their kids and grandchildren or whatever, you know? Why do you think learning language now is important? Well, for me, when I got the chance to learn my language, I took it because I'm just passionate about learning my language. I can go out on country more, getting close to more family that I didn't really know before. I want to keep doing what I'm doing and teach my language so it never dies. 